Hi guys, in this video we're going to be installing Tails version 4.2 on a Mac. We're going to verify it to make sure that it is legitimate once we download it as per the instructions of Tails. Once verified, we're going to burn it to a USB drive. Once it's burned to the jump drive, we're going to run it on the Mac and we'll open up the Tor browser, allowing you to have complete privacy and anonymity. So let's get started. Some of the requirements are that you have a USB drive that's at least 8 gigabytes where we're going to install the Tails software. And if you have the jump drive, just pop it in and make sure to erase it, to format it. You're going to have to format your drive uh, to be bootable. So this is my drive. I already formatted it. So you're going to go to erase and you want to format Mac OS extended. And uh, you'll see another option here that says GUID partition map. That's the option you want to select so it is bootable. So go ahead and download the latest version of Tails. This will download it to your computer, your, either your downloads folder or your desktop or any location where you specify your downloads to go to. Uh, so you just click here, uh, choose Mac OS, download and install, click let's go you want to download the USB image. This will take about five to 10 minutes, depending on your speed and depending on where you're getting this from, as uh, these are downloaded from mirrors and not directly from tails. Uh, so I already downloaded mine to save some time here. And then this step is very important. As you can read here, we need to verify that the download is actually legitimate and that it has not been tampered with. So to do that, you can just uh, click here, see instructions and you want to go ahead and download this file so click there to download the open pgp signature and this file here which is the tail signing key <clears throat> and for the simplicity um, of me demonstrating everything uh, go ahead and place those three files on your desktop in a folder called tails and just make it all lowercase and you can see here i have all three files so to verify it we're going to need a free software called GPG tools. So go to a website called gpgtools.org, click download to download the software, and then run the installer. So just click install and follow the instructions on the screen. You can ignore this pop-up here, so just close it, cancel. And you might see only one key here. So the next step is to import the key that is uh, saved to your Tails folder on the desktop. Now just make sure that your Tails OS has been downloaded completely here. And go ahead and double click on that. And it will tell you one key was processed and zero imported. Yours is probably going to say one imported. I've already imported mine. The next step is to verify Tails, and we're going to do this using Terminal. So go ahead and just go up here and search for Terminal and open it up. So on the right hand side, I have some of these commands that we'll be using for your convenience. So let's start by typing in CD space squiggly line forward slash desktop forward slash Tails, which is the location of our Tails files. Click enter. Now type in ls to list the files in this folder and you will see uh, there are three files. The ISO, the ISO SIG and the signing key. So the next step is to enter the following command which is gpg space dash dash verify space and go ahead and just copy this file right here. Now this might be different for you depending on the version of Tails that you're using. So just Command C and then click here and then Command V to paste it and then hit space again and again paste Command V and delete the last part here which is .sig and hit enter. Now this might take um, some time maybe 15-20 seconds for some people, for me it's fairly quick. 
and right here it's verifying that we have a good signature <clears throat> and that our version of Tails OS is legitimate. So this is all you're looking for right here, this line. Uh, you're going to see a warning here, this key is not certified uh, with a trusted signature. Uh, you're going to get this always. Uh, it's virtually impossible to uh, get this warning to go away unless you can go directly uh, to the Tails developer and, uh, and get the key from them. All right, so now that we know that we have a legitimate uh, version downloaded off Tails OS, we can go ahead and burn it on our USB drive. To do this, we will use a free software called Etcher. So go to belina.io slash Etcher and click download for Mac OS. And uh, just once you get the pop-up, drag it to your applications and you'll get a software uh, that looks like this. So now you wanna select your image. So click select image and select the ISO file in your desktop tails folder and uh, your USB drive should be automatically selected but if you have multiple drives in uh, you can click change to select the appropriate drive and just simply click flash to start burning and enter your system password and this may take a couple minutes to finish once it's completed you'll see a flash complete message and this means that Tails has been installed to the jump drive. So you can go ahead and unplug your USB and plug it back in. And you will see Tails 4.2 installed on your jump drive, as you can see here. So this is the operating system. So now you're ready to reboot your computer, your Mac. And uh, once uh, you're rebooting, hold down the option Alt key on your keyboard you get an option to select and then you get an option to select that jump drive uh, it will look like something like this like this so you would select the windows drive and then you'll be able to boot up tails i'd like to mention that i'm running mac os high sierra version 10.13.6 so if you don't see this usb drive here you might want to try to use a different jump drive to burn Tails OS. Uh, you might want to try an earlier version, or you might want to even try to burn it to a DVD. And if this doesn't work, then uh, you might want to contact Tails OS and let them know about your issue. And now, since I have to reboot, I'll show you how this uh, looks like on my phone camera. See you on the other side. The next thing you want to do is you want to restart your computer with the jump drive plugged in, the one that has Tails OS. And while the computer is restarting or starting up, you want to hold down the option key the whole entire time. So I'm going to start the computer and hold down the option key. So keep holding it. And you'll see on your screen two options regular Macintosh HD and the Windows Drive the Windows Drive is your USB so with your keyboard keys click right and then click enter and this will boot up tails there's gonna be an automatic boot in one second you can hit enter And you're going to be asked to select your language. Click start. Takes a little while, so be patient. And here it is. You're using Tails OS. So it's synchronizing your system's clock and connecting it to the internet. So I'm connected. I'm wired in, so no need for Wi Fi. Although it's known that. Tails does have Wi-Fi issues, so you might have to reconnect. Uh, once you're connected, you want to go up here, go to uh, Applications, and then go to Tor Browser. And there you have it. You're officially connected to Tor using your jump drive, and you can surf the web anonymously.
Thank you for watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more cool videos.